So guys, you guys are welcome to this tutorial. I know um, previously we spoke about the wild ass ring, where we spoke about the components of the wild ass ring. And if you guys remember, you know that the palatine tone seal was a component of the wild ass ring. All right. So picking out the palatine tone seal to talk about the anatomy because the palatine tone seal is important. So when we are done talking about the anatomy, applied anatomy, blood supply, nervous supply, of the palatine tonsil you guys will get to see that the palatine tonsil is a small structure but don't worry it is an important structure so the question is discuss the anatomy of the palatine tonsil now this is the palatine tonsil guys all right this is the palatine tonsil i could see that the palatine tonsil is located at the what if this is the nasal pharynx this is the oral pharynx okay and it's the laryngeal pharynx okay so uh the palatine tonsils is located obviously at the oral pharynx okay and it is important after we're done discussing you guys should see so the palatine tonsils are a mass of lymphatic tissue now anything lymphatic is like giving protection stopping infections okay so it is a mass of lymphatic tissue situated on the lateral wall of the oral pharynx you see so if you know the anatomy of the nasal pharynx, oral pharynx, and laryngeal pharynx, it will help you, right? Don't worry, we have videos on them coming. So it is situated on the lateral wall of the oral pharynx in a triangular fossa known as the tonsillar fossa. Okay. So what is the shape of the palatine tonsil? We said that the shape of the palatine tonsils is almond in shape. The palatine tonsils is almond in shape. Okay. It has surfaces too. We have the medial surface, which is covered by stratified squamous epithelium. Um, we have the lateral surface, which is, which is covered by what? Sheets of fascia that form the hemicapsule of the tonsil. Right. So, um, looking at this, this is the palatine tonsil. Just this small structure is what we are talking about. Okay. There are other tonsils too. Don't worry, we'll come to them too. But first of all, let's talk about the palatine tonsils, which is like... Can you see how it is like um, at the oral cavity? All right. So it is important because food that you are eating is passing and touching the palatine tonsil. Okay. So now what is the borders of the palatine tonsil? Anteriorly, it is um, related to the palatoglossal arch and its muscles. All right. Palatoglossal arch and its muscle. Posteriorly, it is related to the word palatopharyngeal arch and its muscle okay so um palatoglossal arch all right palatopharyngeal arch and its muscles okay so now what are the poles of its palatine tonsil we said that the upper pole is related to the soft palate of course all right this is a soft palate then the lower pole is related it's attached to the tongue by suspensory ligament tonsils okay um this is the lower pole all right it's attached to the tongue by suspensory ligament of the tonsils all right so that means the palatine tonsils are somehow come uh connected to the to the tongue okay but like with a loose ligament okay that's the suspensory ligament of tonsils all right guys that's it about the anatomy of the palatine tonsils so later on now we'll be talking about the anatomy um, the applied anatomy of the palatine tonsils which i suspect and you should suspect to should be inflammations of this of course if the palatine tonsils are inflamed then you have pains swallowing food okay so guys this is it about the anatomy of the palatine tonsils we spoke about definition shape surfaces borders and all right, so that's it. See you guys.